Hello, I'm Harold Moret, Project Manager for the Copper Development Association, or CDA. Welcome back to another installment of our Do It Proper with Copper video series. On occasion, I receive questions about how to properly brace threaded copper adapters. Although it seems female copper adapters tend to be the most problematic, the most common question I get is, I brace a threaded female adapter and it's leaking at the threads. The more I tighten it, the more it leaks. How can I prevent this from happening? We hear this mostly from technicians who are installing medical gas, HVAC, and refrigeration system where threaded copper adapters are required. It's important to keep in mind the high temperature that the adapter is exposed to, in particular the threads during the bracing process. These female adapters can become overly annealed or soft when exposed to the excessive heat of bracing without proper care and protection of the threads. Then as you tighten the threads, they can become deformed and a leak can occur. The more you tighten it, the more it stretches and the worse it can become. Annealing can occur when bracing is performed instead of soldering. The basic difference between soldering and bracing is the temperature necessary to melt the filler metal. If the filler metal melts below 840 degrees Fahrenheit, you are soldering. If the filler metal melts above that temperature, the process is bracing. Almost all tin solders have melting ranges of approximately 350 to 550 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep in mind the annealing temperature of copper is approximately 700 to 1400 degrees Fahrenheit and most bracing alloys have a melting temperature above 1150 degrees Fahrenheit, well above the annealing temperature of copper. How can you prevent the threads from becoming soft? It's simple, use a heat sink. The heat sink will absorb most of the heat, which will keep the threads from becoming annealed or soft. After you prepare the end of the tube and the socket of the adapter, assemble them together. Then apply a generous amount of heat sink around the threads of the adapter. Next, brace the joint. Remember to keep the direction of the flame away from the heat sink to reduce overheating the threads. When finished, allow it to cool to the touch. Do not quick quench the brace joint. Remove the heat sink material and clean the joint and the threads. Then apply thread sealant and make the joint by tightening it. We hope this video has been helpful in demonstrating how to properly brace copper adapters. For more information on bracing applications and how to solder joints, please visit the Copper Development Association's website at www.copper.org.